How's it going, airplane collectors? Welcome back to another video. It's your host, Ray. You guys asked for it, so I made it. This video is a model review of two Gemini Jets models in one video, so this is going to be pretty interesting. These are the Gemini Jets British Airways Boeing 747-400 uh, special tail, I guess, dual set. Not really sure what to call this. I picked this up at the Chicago Airline Memorabilia Show in May of 2022, which was recently. And I got them for a pretty decent price, and since you guys asked, here's the review. This video will proceed will proceed in a rather unconventional method compared to my other videos because we're dealing with two aircraft in one video. And yes, these two do arrive in the same box, so they're a dual set. That's what makes this video and these models special. Well, there's a lot to cover, so enough chit-chat. Sit back, relax, and let's get this started. Alright, so first we'll talk about the box. The box is definitely unconventional due to the fact that it has to house two models. It's 36.5 centimeters long, 19.5 centimeters tall, and about 4.5 centimeters wide. So it's relatively large for a 1 to 400 scale model box, but I mean, yeah, it has the two models in there. I'll show you guys around the box now. So obviously, here's the front, here's the bottom. Right side, top, left side. Here's the back side. Back here, you can see some specifications about the aircraft and some information about the aircraft. When you open up the flap, you see the British Airways logo along with the Boeing 747 logo, and you can see pictures of both of the aircraft as well as their nicknames. So the one with the red tail is nicknamed Wunala. I think I said that right. And the one with the bluish green tail is nicknamed Nalanji. So I hope I said those right. Please correct me if I said those wrong, but those are the names of the aircraft. And here you can see both of the aircraft are housed in this spot. And here are both aircraft. I decided that I'm going to go over each of them briefly, but first we'll talk about them both collectively. Both of them are 17 and a half centimeters long. Their wingspan is 16.2 centimeters and they're five centimeters tall. They are identical aircraft, but they have different tail designs as well as different tail registrations. We're gonna start the review with the red-tailed one, so I'll give you guys a quick 360 of this one, and then we'll go over a semi-in-depth review of this one. Starting up at the nose of the aircraft nicknamed Wunala, uh, everything looks good up here. Obviously, this is Gemini Jets 2003, so this is way before their downfall. We're going to move down the aircraft, and you can see lots of printed details. Very nicely done overall. Very impressive for even 2003. This is when the 1 to 400 scale model market first became a thing. Back here with the vertical stabilizer in the tail section, you can see a lot of detail. I can see what appear to be prehistoric dinosaur-like animals on the tail, as well as a lot of vibrant colors and printing. Really, really nicely done in terms of overall details. And down here, there's a signature of some sort. I'm going to guess it's the signature of the artist who created this artwork. Here's the right side of the aircraft. It's just as detailed as the left side, and it looks just as awesome. Moving on to the giant wings on this aircraft, the wings look really nice, lots of printed and molded detail. The engines also look cool, they look good, Not uh, they look, obviously they look cool. However, one of the engines, this engine right here, is bent slightly upward, so I guess these things started the 737 MAX trend early. On the underside of the left wing, you can see the aircraft's registration. Here's the tail section again. Here you can see the horizontal vertical stabilizers. Again, the artwork back here looks absolutely gorgeous. And here you can see a little hole for what the APU or where the APU is supposed to be. Under the aircraft here you can see a decent amount of detail. Well, not very much detail. And you can see the old Gemini Jets logo with some paint chips. These models are old, so it's what happens. Uh, the landing gear, they obviously don't roll. And for some reason, these two gears here are loose. So I don't think that's exactly normal. Now for the second aircraft, nicknamed Nalanji, I think that's what it's called. I'll give you guys a quick 360 of this one too. Mm -hmm. 
Just like the first aircraft, we'll start with the front of the aircraft here. You can see this time no Melanji Dreaming instead of the other name. Uh, just chilling here. No shape looks good. Lots of detail. No complaints in terms of printed detail. Very realistic overall. It's pretty much identical as we move down the aircraft until we hit the tail. The tail section on this aircraft is equally gorgeous to the other one. Personally, I like this one a little bit better due to the blue and green colors. Here you can see what appear to be fish and flowers and a turtle right here from my interpretation, as well as I presume the signature of the artist again. The same can be said about the right side of the aircraft. Very nicely done, very realistic, no complaints. Overall looks really good. We'll move on to the wings. The wings are the same as the other model, so I really won't say much. The same amount of printed detail and molded detail is present. And of course, on the bottom of the left wing, the aircraft's registration is visible. Uh, moving to the tail, I already showed you guys the this area too. No complaints. There's even a hole for where the APU has to be. You can see it right here at the bottom of this yellow splotch. Looks really good. The landing gear, obviously they're the same, and they they too have the same loose effect here. That's why I'm not sure if they're if that's an issue or if that's an included feature, because if it is, that is pretty bizarre, but I won't complain. And yes, the engines are ever so slightly tilted up on this one as well, so that is a little problem that they had. But aside from that, they were pretty good. Now I'm going to talk about both models collectively. Both of them have great details for 2003. Obviously nowadays, they're still really solid, but they still lack a few features such as antennas and stuff but of course there's us modelers who choose to modify our models and put antennas and stuff like that on these however i won't be putting antennas because these models are simply too old too rare and just really nicely done and i don't want to risk messing them up and now let's just st start talking about their features together everything looks really good except for the paint issues that i pointed out on the bottom of this model and they are present on this model too uh, you can see there's well, there's very, well, there's pretty much no paint chipping down here. So this one, this model is actually in a little bit better condition. So uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, they have a lot of detail. They're nice and I have no complaints about them. Well, that concludes the review. I really can't make a recommendation to other collectors because these models are insanely hard to come by, especially at a decent price. They're really expensive these days. So I'll give you, my, give you guys my personal opinion. Given that these things were made in 2003, these things are absolutely phenomenal. Compared to today's models, they obviously lack a bit of detail here and there, but they still are really solid. So if you ever get, your, uh, get the chance to get your hands on one of these and you really like these models, by all means, go for it. They're really nicely made. They're rare. So good luck finding them. And that concludes the review. I know this one was rather short, especially for two aircraft. I made it on a decent amount of time, I'd say so myself. So yeah, if you have any questions or if I missed anything, feel free to drop those down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more airplane content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.